lay structure interaction, how we can make the model for them. So this is the uh, simplified picture for that. Firstly, we will model the layer and deck using the PIM element. And we will consider the eccentricity between the layer and deck, considering the layer condition in the field. And then between them, we will connect using the uh, link, elastic link. This link will have the different stiffness, as I mentioned, when there is the train load and when there is no train load, only the summer load is applied in the longitudinal direction. About the transverse direction, they will be rigidly connected. For the pier and abutment, we can model them with the beam element or we can simply model them using the point spring support. Both is available using a uh, lead track wizard. And so this is the uh, stiffness of the ballast. So when there is the train load and when there is no train load, as you can see, the different uh, shear resistance should be applied for this ballast. And this is the cross section. So with the deck, they and rail is there and they will be connected using the rigid link and also at the bottom of the deck there will be the bearing and we can model the point spring support or we can uh, model the piers. After making this type of the model then we can do the analysis with the two different approach. One is separate analysis, the other one is complete analysis. Separate analysis is like making the separate model file which considering the only thermal load and different model file considering the train traction load only and the other one for train particle load. And then as I mentioned, we can simply submit the results for the stresses. The other way is using the staged analysis. So. First, in the first stage, we can consider only the summer load, and in the second stage, with the accumulated results from the summer load, we will change the stiffness of the ballast, and then train load will be applied. Both method is available using my Dustable new module. So this is the engineer's choice which approach will be applied, as the code specified both approach can be applied. So this is the difference between the simplified analysis and complete analysis. In case of the simplified analysis is applied, then if there is only the summer load, this type of the spring will be applied. And then also different spring stiffness will be applied for the train load. And we will simply make the summation for these lizards. So in this case, even though the limitation of the ballast stiffness is this point, but there could be some cases that the axial stress exceeds its limitation. According to the UIC standard, uh, generally 20 to 30 percent will be uh, larger comparing to the rear extra stress uh, obtained from the field. And the other way is this complete analysis. So from this complete analysis, as you can see, in the first stage, only the summer load will be there. And from this result, only the spring stiffness will be changed and then the result will be accumulated. So in this case, the more accurate results can be obtained because there will be no case that the limit stiffness, we, the, 
the correct limit stiffness will be applied. So this is the rail track analysis model result. This is the additional module of my dust server, which composed of the this five tab layout, span, boundary, load, and wizard option. If we see those options one by one, so I will open the program and then I will show you. <coughs> 